Hey everyone, welcome to RPG 4 Minute Videos for Developers Season 27. In this season, we are going to discuss about JSON Web Token and also see how RPG can help you if you are planning to use JSON Web Tokens for your APIs. Myself, Anil Sagar, I work at Google and RPG platform. Before we understand about JSON Web Tokens, first let's discuss about why do you need a token? Why username and passwords are not enough? Let's say you have a backend system and the services and different kinds of data. Like, for example, let's say you're a big bank and you have different types of services. Traditionally, these services are within the firewalls or point-to-point -point integration. Username and passwords are not scalable when you want to expose this data to the outside world. Let's say different people want access to different services or different applications trying to access your data. These applications can be a third party. Different machines also might need access to the data because they want to do aggregation or some kind of batch processing. Like discussed, you cannot share the same username and password with all of them. You have different types of services. Let's say you are a big bank and you have transfers, st account statements, accounts of the customers and profiles of the customers. For example, let's say, you want to give a particular API access to a particular app only limited access. Let's say only read only operation. Let's say for a particular machine, a limited time. So that after that time, the same API might not be accessible for that particular machine. That's why you need tokens. A JWT token is a JSON web token is a special type of token, which can carry information internally inside the token as well as you can able to validate the payload it is coming from authenticated source or not. You can able to sign the payload with the secret. So what success will look like with JWT? Let's say you have the backend systems and let's say it belongs to a particular bank. And let's say you have an end user, a bank developed a simple application. Let's call this application as a client. And RPG Edge can sit in between the client and the backend system and RPG can act like an authentication and authorization server. So this particular client will re register with RPG developer portal. It will get a consumer key and secret. And once it receives that, it can able to authenticate itself. I am a valid client that I registered with a particular bank in the developer portal. And when the client or the user tries to log in into the application, then API call will be sent through to RPG to the backend server. The connection between RPG and the backend server is secured using a two-way SSL. When the resource server comes back and says these are the valid credentials, RPG can generate a JWT token, which is a signed token with a secret key. This token is sent back to the client. In the subsequent steps, the client can present the JWT token where RPG can verify this JWT token with the signed secret. Once it is valid, it can give access to the backend services and the response will be sent back to the client. This looks exactly similar to what we have discussed in earlier season OAuth 2.0. But OAuth 2.0 is a framework and JWT is a token. We have seen access tokens in OAuth 2.0. JWT token can be used as an OAuth 2.0 token. Do not compare OAuth 2.0 versus JWT because we are comparing something like apples and apple cards. You can compare OAuth 2.0 access token, which is an opaque token that we discussed last time with JWT token. You can also use JWT token as OAuth 2.0 token. We're going to see it in action in future videos. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us using community.apg.com. If you are evaluating RPG Edge, you can reach out to us using the Google short link. Please share this video with your friends and colleagues and help us spread the love for APIs. You can also subscribe to YouTube channel and stay updated if any future videos.